An electron is roughly 10,000 times smaller than a hydrogen atom, which is the smallest atom. It's already impossible to see the atom with the naked eye, so how do we know that electrons exist? This is a pyramid. If you look closer at it, you'll see that there are building blocks that make it up. But those two in turn are made out of something. So what would be the smallest thing that makes matter? This is basically what an atom was thought to be, the building block of matter in the universe. That meant it is the smallest entity, but we now know that atoms contain electrons and other things. So how did we discover that? In 1879, English physicist J.J. Thompson was experimenting with a cathode ray tube. The setup was basically two metal pieces inside a glass tube that had the air removed from it. He connected a power supply, one is negative and the other one is positive, to the pieces of metal. What happens here is that the electrons move very quickly from the positive side to the negative side. This would cause a ray to shoot and shine the other side of the glass because that end had a coating that glows as such. Thompson was wondering what this ray is made of. Physicists used to think it was just a beam of light, so he brilliantly decided to add two metal plates on the way of the beam. One is positive and the other one is negatively charged. That yielded a deflection of the ray and it was getting noticeably closer to the positive plate as if there is something in the ray that has a negative charge, because negative attracts to positive. To confirm this, he placed a magnet in the way of the beam, because Thomson knew electricity would be affected by a magnetic field, and the deflection happened again. At this point, we know that the beam has a negative charge, but could what is happening here be a special case and a special result to the material of the metal itself that Thompson chose. To answer this question, he swapped the metals and he tried different metals to see if the material itself would change anything in the results he got. But he got the same deflection. This was remarkable, because it meant that it is not the atom, it is not the material itself, but something inside the atom that causes this deflection, and this interaction with the electric field and the magnetic field. And it meant that there is something negatively charged because it's gravitating towards the positive plate. Being inside the atom, this in turn means that the atom is not the smallest thing, since it contains a particle that is smaller than itself. Thomson called them corpuscles, but this is what we now know as an electron. And this is how the electron was discovered by J.J. Thomson. Thanks again for watching, subscribe and hit the bell button, like and share, comment below if you have any questions, I will see you next time.